it's your girl Leah back again with another video and today's video as you saw from the title is a makeup tutorial but it's a little bit off the beaten path for a makeup tutorial as far as for me and as you can see it is a watch me transform into Amina Butterfly now for you guys who aren't familiar with my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button but I get a lot of comments a ton I'm inserting them right now you look like Amina Butterfly you look like Amina Butterfly I've actually gotten them in real life too I personally do not believe I look anything like Amina at all but I was like you know what I'm gonna take inspiration from her photos and try try my hardest to beat my face in an Amina way so maybe I'm gonna see Yet. maybe I'm gonna be like oh I see what they're talking about because I don't see what you guys are talking about so I chose two pictures as inspiration for my makeup and hair and dress for today I use this picture of Amina for my hair and for my dress so you guys can see this is what I was trying to go for her makeup I didn't use this for makeup inspiration because it wasn't looking that was probably season one that's before she got the coins so for her makeup I'm using this finale I think this is one of the last finale she was on correct me if I'm wrong I stopped watching Love and hip-hop New York after this season after this finale I think I was done with it but I like that makeup look that's the best makeup look I saw that I really loved her from her so I tried to achieve that in this makeup so this is hair and dress this is makeup so let's just see if I can hit this transformation so let me say it again for the people in the back who are not understanding Standing. I for a fact do not believe I look like anybody's Amina but I'm trying to bring you guys different I'm trying to bring you guys unique type of makeup tutorials there's so many how many date nights can you do how many date night looks can you do really so I'm trying to bring you guys different looks and so that is what this tutorial is now of course I'm going to start off with my brows and of course if you saw my last tutorial I love the NYX brow pencil and then I just carve out my brows using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I have a brand new one, you guys know in my last one. It was on his last leg, but I got me a new one. And of course, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal also to help clean up my brows. I just find that these two products work good in tandem. One is very light and one is closer to my skin tone, so it doesn't have that very much so highlighted, very highlighted brow effect. It kind of tones it down with both products. Just to kind of give you guys an idea of why I did my brows like this, this is kind of how she has hers too. They're just like how I do my brows. She has very natural looking brows. Her tail doesn't go too long. It's kind of right in that sweet spot. And like you see in the picture, it's kind of normal looking brows. She doesn't go too bold with them, which is perfect for me because I don't go too bold with them. So next I'm priming my eyes and of course I'm gonna use my paint pot in soft ochre. Just a small, small interjection too. You guys also say a lot of times in a lot of my videos that I look like Maggie from Grey's Anatomy. Sometimes you guys say Maggie from Grey's Anatomy. Sometimes you say Meredith's sister from Grey's Anatomy. Sometimes you say Meredith's black sister from Grey's Anatomy. Like I'm gonna get confused and think you guys are talking about Lexi. That's also hilarious to me. Also, it's hilarious that nobody knows her real name. You guys always just say Meredith's, Meredith's black sister. I don't see that either. Now to set that paint pot, I'm going in with the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Setting Powder. Now Octagly paired with Sasha Cosmetics was so awesome to have sent me this product, but this product was something that was on my to get list forever. The reason that I have been putting off getting this though is that I always figured that it was going to give a yellow cast. I thought because the product was yellow that I would have a yellow cast to my eye and it does not leave any yellow cast when I set my eye area as well as I set my under eye with this product and there is no yellow cast. I'm loving it and especially since this product is geared towards multicultural women, you gotta support this brand during Black History Month. So what y'all like about to see me do with this eye area is a whole bunch of trial and error. Now I've never recreated a look based off of a photo before so I'm really trying to encompass everything that she has going on in her eye look in the photograph but it's gonna take a lot of trial and error. Like I said I am no makeup artist. I did not go to school for this. I went to school for finance honey. So I'm really trying to get this eye look together so you're gonna see me play around with a lot of colors. Now the first color as you guys are seeing I'm using a contour shade from my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit now this kit I know it's not shadows but they come in handy sometimes especially when you need a good transition shade 
So next I'm going in with a palette that doesn't get a lot of recognition, but it was a pretty good palette. It's the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette. And I'm going in with that purpley plum shade. I really love that shade. When I got this palette, it was on sale at Ulta for like $25. And it got some shades in here. And I'm just gonna use that on the outer corner of my eye. So like I said, this was about playing around with a look. So I'm going in with my Carly Bible Palette eyeshadow. I hate these eyeshadows on a normal occasion. I normally love the highlighters in this palette. It's one of my favorite highlighting palettes. But I tried those shadows and they actually came in handy today. So next I'm going in with the Maybelline Eye Studio Eyeliner and I thought I was going to put this part on camera but my wing liner tried to play me for a fool today. So I had to get on up and film this part off camera so I'm going to come back with my wing liner on. I am no liner expert. I just got back in the liner game. If you guys noticed my first probably 20, 30, 40, 50 videos, I don't have liner on. And I was like, you know what? Let me get back to the liner game, especially since I'm doing this look and Amina has liner on in the photo. I guess I kind of got to do a wing liner. I'm going to go in with my Kiss 03 Beyond Natural Lashes. You guys know these are my favorites. So next I'm going in with primer and for primer I'm going to use the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Now this is something I've been dying to get my hands on and Becca pair with Octoly was so amazing to have sent me this primer. Now I wanted to try this solely because it is so much so geared towards somebody like me who likes a luminous glow and who likes a product that feels very moisturizing and this product I have to say feels very moisturizing. It reminds me of the MAC Strobe Cream but something about it has a luminosity about it that I really do enjoy. So next I'm color correcting, 50% of the time I use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the orange corrector color and then a lot of the times I use my YSL Touche Clot in the orange shade. Sometimes it depends on the level of correcting I feel I need. I don't feel like my bags are that dark today so I'm going in with this. It's just a light kind of peachy color. So next I'm going in with the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation and once again Becca was so awesome to have sent me this foundation for my reviewing pleasure and I'd have to say I don't have a foundation review Friday for this up. It will be up soon but I do love the coverage and the finish of this foundation. I am in the shade Amber. I will let you guys know in my foundation review video whether I think this is a perfect match but I do think this foundation is perfect for what I'm trying to accomplish in this look. I'm trying to have a full coverage look because I'm I'm trying to kind of create the smooth canvas that Amina has on in her photo. So next I'm going in with concealer and I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Now I hardly ever use this anymore. I used to love this. And now that we have so many wand concealers out, I don't like using this as much because I just don't like the applicator. I don't like having to pump my concealer like it's a foundation. But I do like the coverage of this. And like I said, at one point this was my favorite go-to. I have so much of this product left over that I just need to hurry up and use it up so I can get back to my Maybelline Better Skin. So next, this portion will make sense towards the end or towards the contouring section of this video, but I am going in with concealer around my nose, like heavy around my nose, because if you notice, Amina has a very, very thin nose. I do not have the same Amina nose, but I'm trying to create that effect by going in with the concealer very, very close to my nose. And then when I use my contour, I'm gonna go very, very much so in the bridge of my nose to try to give myself the illusion of that thinner nose that Amina has. Next, going back in with that Sasha Buttercup powder, I'm going to set everywhere that I put that concealer. So next, I'm going to contour that nose like I said I needed to. I'm going in with this brush. Now, this Morphe brush right here is essential for that nose contour. I think it was made specifically for contouring the nose, and I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit for that contour. And I'm going to go back in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit to contour the perimeter of my face as well. I think her whole face has a very bronzy contoured look and that's what I'm going for with this look. Mm -hmm. 
So also in this kit, Becca sent over the Skin Perfector Press Highlighter in Opal, but Becca should already know I own this highlighter. I love their highlighters, and I'm almost hitting pan on it, so I'm just gonna use the one that I already have and apply that to all my highlighting regions. You know, the cheeks, the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow, all of that jazz. Now before I apply my lips and mascara, I always spray my face with my setting spray. So next I'm going and lining my lips with MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. And I love this lip liner because it actually makes me look like I have lips. I don't have any lips, which is something me and Amina have in common. So for lipstick, I'm using the Milani Naked Lipstick only because she has a very natural lip going on and I'm using a lip gloss. I'm not normally a lip gloss person. If I do wear lip gloss, you guys know it's the ABH Gilded Lip Gloss, but I'm using the e.l.f. Plumping Lip Gloss because I hear so many good things about it. It was recommended as a must try. So final step is mascara. Today I'm using the CoverGirl Super Sizer as well as the Too Faced Better Than Sex. So this is the final look. Let me know down below. What do you guys think? Do you agree with those tens and tens of people who say, you look like Amina? Cause I don't feel like I do, but I try to at least achieve a look that looks similar to something that she's done in the past. So like I said, let me know down below. Do you think I nailed it? Do you think girl, them people are lying. They don't know what they are talking about. They need to get their eyes checked. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and let me know down below if there's anything you want to see from me. I want to do out the box content in terms of makeup tutorials. I just don't want to do the same golden eye or smoky eye that everybody else is doing i want to do something unique so give me unique ideas down below make sure you're subscribed to me so you don't miss those unique ideas make sure you're following me on instagram at leahlamon89 make sure you're following me on snapchat at mr leah89 and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye <laughs>